dining in a bubble to stay safe? This is the InsideEdition.com coronavirus news for May 22nd, 2020. You're welcome to sit down for a meal in this restaurant in France, provided you sit inside a giant protective shade. The designer says he wants the cases to be glamorous and pretty. Plus glamour, plus, plus, plus joli. The so-called Plex Eat cases are made from sheets of plexiglass. They will soon be shipped to establishments around the world. It's just one of the unusual ways restaurants have had to adapt to the pandemic. Earlier, we shared how some diners in Ocean City, Maryland, are using bumper tables to maintain social distancing. We also showed a high-end eatery in Virginia that's using mannequins to put some space between its patrons. Now, a restaurant in Lithuania is doing the same thing. Diners at the Sugamore Cafe in Vilnius get to share the space with some real dummies. One customer liked the idea. It, it gives quite a good uh, mood. Really, we came up with smiles on our faces. And the restaurant's owner is happy with the new arrangement. Yesterday, when we had already all the mannequins uh, sitting in their places, uh, at once it felt like a full restaurant, and, and it gave much, much, much better vibe in the restaurant uh, at once. Now, Inside Edition's Diane McInerney reports on another way people are staying safe when they go out to eat. It's a blast from the past, the return of car hop service. With so many dining rooms closed across the USA, restaurants are bringing back this classic slice of Americana. Most people have never experienced car hop service since it went out of style back in the 1960s. By having the food brought to your car, you can stay safe and feel like you went out to a restaurant without ever having to go inside and thoroughly enjoy that burger and that retro dining experience. Check out the lunch rush at this Bob's Big Boy in Burbank. It's packed. One, two, three o'clock. It recalls this scene from the classic movie, American Graffiti. Can I have a couple of those fries? Just like it was back in the day, servers are running around the parking lot delivering all those burgers and fries. Unlike the servers from a simpler time, the 1950s, today's servers are wearing protective gear, including masks and gloves. Did you want fries with your burger? Sisters Murder Miller and Candace Arney decided to check out the car hop for the trip down memory lane. Rainbow back, beautiful. Good memory. Yes. Yeah, as kids, we always ate here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's still good. Mm -hmm. Yummy. From the looks of it, people are eating it up with this perfect way to dine out in the age of COVID-19. Finally, InsideEdition.com Sal Bono shares a story of how the pandemic is affecting nightlife in the big city. Since lockdown, nightlife has been deemed non-essential in New York City. But there are a number of people who rely on clubs and concert halls for a living. I spoke to legendary DJ Mr. C, who used to work with the Notorious B.I.G., Jenna LaMonico from Island Records, and famous New York City chronicler Michael Musto about what their lives are like in lockdown. Trackstar the DJ spins for Run the Jewels, who were supposed to go on tour with Rage Against the Machine and play Coachella this past spring. Right when we were getting into road mode, we literally, we did a week of rehearsals, and then we went home for like two days before the second week of rehearsals, and that's when this hit. It happened that quick. I mean, I was supposed to leave the next day for another week of rehearsals leading right into tour. There are over 5.1 million confirmed cases of COVID-19 and over 330,000 deaths worldwide. There are over 90,000 deaths in the United States. For more on the coronavirus pandemic, visit InsideEdition.com.